Yo, this is how you make spicy stir pork. Woo! Woo! All right, so first thing first, we're gonna chop up some vegetables. So right here, we got some cabbage, onion, scallion, carrot, and some jalapeno. For the actual recipe, make sure to check it out on our blog, chefchrischo.com. So 200 grams of cabbage, just like that. This look like it's a lot of cabbage, right? But once you cook it off, it's gonna be almost like one fourth of the size. 100 grams of onion. Ooh, I almost cut myself. So I like my onions super thin, especially on my chayopokum. So we're gonna chop it up super thinly like that. Three scallions. First, we're gonna throw this top part out. I'm gonna chop these up for pagiram and the other, I'm gonna throw it in in a chayopokum. So you'll see what I mean once I start cooking. So this is gonna go be used as pagiram. If you guys been following my recipe, you should know what pagiram means by now. And the other, I'm gonna slide it right in, just like that. You chop them up to like an inch and a half. And one jalapeno for that extra kick. I like my John extra spicy, so I'm gonna throw all this in. Whew. Actually, I might only throw like four or five pieces in because my wife doesn't like it too spicy. Everything in life is about what well, my wife likes now. Happy wife, happy life. Boom, mandolin. My best friend. If you guys want to know where to get this, just go to my blog and I'll post it up on this recipe where you guys could click the link and get it. Amazon. 25 grams of carrot. Woo! Boom. All right, so now we have all of our vegetable prep. We're going to chop up some pork and we're going to go right into the cooking part. Let's go. All right, so if you go to any Korean market, you could find these teji boksai purgogi. But these jones are a little bit too thick for me. So what I like to do is I like to throw these in the freezer for a little bit. So it's like half frozen, then I thaw it out, then I slice it. Cause then it's a lot easier to slice it through. Always paper towel or a wet towel under the cutting board so it doesn't move around. All right, so let's go. Since I froze it, it's a lot easier to slice. All right, so now we have our vegetable all prepped and the meat all sliced, ready to go. Now let's go chop it up. So step one, make sure to chop up all your vegetable. All the vegetables are cut to the same size. The reason we cut it like this is when you grab it with chopstick, I want you to be able to grab everything together like this. By the way, let's get right into cooking, the fun part. All right, so let's go. The only thing I need in the kitchen, just a spoon. That's how I measure everything. Just with this little Korean spoon. All right, so high heat, splash of oil, two tablespoons of scallion, Half a tablespoon of garlic. Whew, that's what you call pagina. Pa means scallion, kira means oil. All right, so that's ready to go. You don't want that to go too dark. So right when it's there, I'm gonna throw in the pork. All right, now we're gonna go high heat. All right, so we're gonna cook the pork to about 70 to 80%. And now we're gonna be adding all of our vegetables. So here goes the cabbage. Now throw in the onion, and some carrot, and some scallion. And lastly, we're gonna throw some jalapeno pepper for the extra kick. Ooh, these are not even that hot. Oh, it's almost hot. Uh, while that's going, well, now we're gonna make the sauce. All right, so we're gonna go two tablespoons of gochujang. Ooh, one tablespoon of pepper flakes the thick ones, and half a tablespoon of kongo chigaru. So I want all that flavor there. The pepper paste, pepper flakes, and pepper powder. It all has different type of flavor. And some soy sauce, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of bulyeo, aka corn syrup. And a tablespoon of sesame oil, and some sesame seeds, and some black pepper. And now you're gonna give that a nice little mix. All right, so for Korean food, when it comes to stir fry, we don't want to overcook the vegetable. This is not French cuisine. We want our vegetable very crunchy, so we only want to cook it like halfway. All right, so this should be good to go as it is right here. Let's go. Mmm. Woo! So from here, it's optional, okay? 
Some people like to add a little bit of hondashi to give it some extra flavor. Some people actually like to throw some tashida as well. And some actually like to throw in some pineapple. But for me, I got, I got a quick tip for you, all right? I don't think most people do it like me, you know? So this is just how I make it at home. I do not make it like this at the restaurant, but ooh, this is my home secret. I'm actually gonna add a tablespoon of deshi. Don't tell nobody. If you see any other people start putting that shit on their chayupoka, oh, they definitely stealing that from me. You know what I'm actually gonna add to last minute? I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of apple juice. Ooh, give that extra sweetness and make people go like, ooh, what was that? But usually people would add some hondashi or some pashida to add that extra flavor. So if you want that pulma, that wok taste, that fire flavor, Mm. And always, we're gonna finish our dish with some sesame seed. Whew. Say ah. All right, moment of truth. Mm. Look at that. And then you could even add this to your Korean barbecue, make a nice little sam. You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm, it's on this fire. To be honest, for me, it's a lot easier to just make short form video, but it came to a realization like, damn, I got millions of followers on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. I'm like, what am I doing not making a long form video for my fans on YouTube? So that's how I decided to start the YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not, but if I am, please leave some comment. If there's anything I could improve in, please let me know as well too. I'm just trying to get better and just trying to share much as our recipe and our culture with you as possible. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, we'll see you.